What is going on everyone? This video is about how to update a document in an open search index using the console. I'll be covering how to update individual documents as well as multiple documents at a time. I'll be demonstrating this by updating my cars index in open search, which has information about cars. So we do a search on our cars index to see what it currently exists. You can see here that we currently have two documents in our index. We have an entry for the Nissan Sentra. So we can see we have a car make, car model, and car year. And we have a second entry for a Nissan Camry model. Now, what you can notice here is I have intentionally spelled uh, Camry incorrect. So we're going to go ahead and update this document. So the first method we can update it is if we have the entire payload using the put command, if we pass in the index and then underscore doc, and then the ID that we want to update, we're able to update the entire document. So if you're not sure where to find the unique ID of your document, if you use the search API, you can find it in the value of the underscore ID key. So in order for this method to work, you have to make sure that you're passing all of the key value pairs. So I'm going to make my spelling correction here by removing the E and we're going to give that a run. Great. So now what we see is the result is updated. And if we just give that a quick search again, we're going to now see that the spelling has been corrected. So I want to point out though, the downside of using this method for updating is if you forget to include any key value pairs, for example, let's say we don't include Nissan and we don't include the car model year. And if we give this a run, it is going to update. But if we do a search again, you're going to see here that it did not actually keep the two other keys in our document and it only has our single key value pair that we've inserted here. So this is actually acting like a truncate if you're familiar with a relational database. So in most cases, this is probably not what you're wanting to do. So let's walk through how to do an update without needing to include the whole document. All right. So before we do that, I'm just going to go ahead and reinsert my full payload. All right, now if we search that again, you're going to see we have our entry. So, so in order to update a single key without needing the entire payload, we can use the update command. So we're going to be starting it by using post and we're going to pass in the index. So my index is called pars. Now we're going to pass in underscore update. And now we're going to reference the unique ID that we want to update. And now we're going to pass in DOC, which stands for document. And now we're going to pass in the key value pairs that we want to update in our document. We're going to pass in car underscore model. And we're going to now correct it to be Camry. Make sure to close off our bracket. And we need to add a second bracket to close it off. And after doc, just make sure we have our colon. Great. And let's just give that a run. All right. So we got a result being updated. And if we give that a search, we now see that we were able to update the single key value pair without needing to pass the car make and car model year. Right, so this is really helpful updating individual records. Now, what if we wanted to update multiple at the same time? So if we look at our index and we wanted to update both of our records, let's say we have the car make is Nissan and we wanted to now update this to be Nissan in lowercase. So one way we could go through each record and, and do a post to do that one by one, but that is inefficient and that's not going to work if you have thousands of records that you want to update at once. So in order to do this, we're going to use the update by query command. So it's going to be a post and we're going to pass in the index that we want to update. So it's going to be cars again. And now it's going to be underscore update by query. And if you're in the console, it should automatically come up. Great. Next, we're going to pass in the query of the phrase that we want to search. So it's going to be query. And now we're going to pass in match phrase. So we're looking for a specific phrase that we want to match or search on. And it's going to be our make is equal to the sun. Can close off that bracket. Next, we're going to pass in our Lucene script, which is going to have the parameters for what we're going to actually update. So next is going to be script and we pass in source ctx dot underscore source dot car make equals params dot car underscore make 
Next is going to be the language. So the default language is painless. So we're just going to make it go to that. So painless is the default scripting language for this query. And next we're going to pass in the parameters. So params. So now our key, which is going to be car make. And that's going to be equal to lowercase Nissan. All right. Just got to remove an extra colon on this line. Command should be valid now. And what we're doing is saying, hey, replace our car make, which is going to be returned as Nissan here, with the parameter of car make is equal to lowercase Nissan. So let's just give this a run. All right, so that was successful. As you can see here, it tells us the time it has taken, how many records were affected, and how many records were successfully updated. All right, so now if we search our car index again, and now we can see if we go down to our car make for each of our records, you're going to see that it's now lowercase. So this API call was successful. So there you go. We've successfully updated multiple records with this update by query command. Now I've shown a simple update example, but there are many other query parameters that you can use for more complex queries. So I'll include a link to the documentation for more information on the update by query API. So I hope this video was helpful on how to update records in an open search index. If you thought this video was helpful, please leave a thumbs up for me and consider subscribing to my channel for more videos on working with data on AWS. See you next time.